expand the square root of 4 plus x up to and including the first four terms and state the range of values of x which the expansion is valid and then use our uh, expansion to find a approximate value of the square root of 4.01 giving your answer correct to eight decimal places so we've got a uh, square root of 4 plus x which we can write as 4 plus x to the half we need this to be 1 plus x so we need to take out uh, the uh, square root of x or 4 to the half if we do that then we need to put a 4 here so this will become square root of 4 is 2 and then we will have to expand 1 plus x over 4 to the half using the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the n n will be a half and x in our case will be x over 4 so expanding so don't forget the 2 in front we'll put some brackets in First term will be 1, the next term will be a half times x over 4. The next term will be 1 over half times minus a half over 2 factorial times x over 4 squared. We want the first four terms this time, so the next one will be a half minus a half minus 3 over 2 over 3 factorial over x cubed over 4. So that will give 2 times 1 plus 1 eighth of x plus uh, 1 over 128 of x squared. So you have to be a bit careful. Use, maybe use the fraction button on your calculator. And don't forget to square the 4. And the next one will be plus 1 over 1024x cubed. We need to multiply through by 2. So that will become 2 plus a quarter x minus 1 over 64x squared plus 1 over 512x cubed. The expansion will be valid for x over 4 being between minus 1 and 1. So that means x will have to be between minus 4 and 4. For the square root of 4.01, we're expanding, uh, we're going to write it as a square root of 4 plus 0 0.01. So in my expansion, I'll replace x with 0 0.01. So the square root will be approximately equal to 2 plus 0 0.01 over 4 minus 0 0.01 squared over 64 plus 0 0.01 cubed over 512 which we can bash out on our calculator we get this value uh, so that 9 will make the 8th place a 4 okay so this is the correct answer uh, to 8 decimal places so, okay so this has been a video to show how to expand a binomial and then use it to actually find the square root. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.